Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn tarot message reading from May 2023 or whenever you connect with these messages. Capricorn, let's see what energies we have. What messages we have pushing forward. Lots of cards popping out. Hangman. Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. The Sun. And the Ace of Wands. Let's pull some more cards and see where we're going. Four of Cups. The King of Wands. The Page of Pentacles. One more, one or two more cards. The death card. You're definitely moving into um, a new energy, Capricorn. Um, okay, three of three of swords. Put this here. The hangman. The sun. Nine of pentacles. Ace of Wands, just map these out. Give me one moment to feel the energies. Four of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Cups. There's that disappointment, that tiredness, right, of that situation or a situation or an energy of you know feeling disappointed but you're turning this around capricorn really in a beautiful way page of pentacles so these energies are all about um understanding to go step by step understanding that if this situation and whatever it is it can be um a job situation a family situation or just um the energies of feeling uh, um disappointment or not enough or just that disconnect and wanting new wanting more wanting different and knowing that you want to make choices you want to make decisions to change to change to change your ambition, to change your situation, to change emotionally, professionally, whatever it means for you, right? Take it um, as it resonates in your journey. Everybody has a different journey. And these, again, are uniquely self-reflective energies, right? Um, but you're pushing into something so positive, so energetic, so fun. It's joyful with this sun. You're pushing into positive. And it's almost like you know that this is the sort of that last push that, yes, things are tricky, right, with this three of swords. So it can be a job situation, even a friend or family, that 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 feeling of of just feeling, okay, well, I know it's going to be different and I know it's going to be positive and I know I'm changing things. I'm making the changes. Uh, I'm, I'm to um, redirect myself and redirect either my mindset, my energies, my, uh, my job, whatever it is that you want to change in your life. Hangman, right? Seeing things differently, a different perspective, understanding to take a moment, take your time to push forward um, into, into something different, to think differently, to see differently. That's what the hangman is all about. It's also taking your time, yes, but it's, it's, it's also not sacrificing yourself, understanding that whatever this, whether it be a relationship, although I don't really see cup, cups right besides the four of cups whatever this situation is you're not going to sacrifice yourself anymore right you're moving into something for you uh it's almost like all about you capricorn not about anybody else and you're trying to 
align yourself what is with what is most important for you and maybe it hasn't been that easy right well it's not easy for anyone right now it is difficult these are chaotic times these are difficult times so it is really about reinventing yourself reinventing yourself but um it's it, it you i think you've understood that it's not about forcing your way through pushing pushing and and just wanting you know that one objective no i think that you really have understood to surrender to the opportunity to take take a pause to view it as a chance to reassess to assess to evaluate where you are in your path what you want what is it that you want because you are making choices here and you're pushing forward in a beautiful positive energy with this ace of wands nine of pentacles the sun your choice your financial independence your independence and um ju and just wanting to feel comfortable comfortable in your skin comfortable with who you are and comfortable with your choices and once you reevaluate or evaluate right that something new is coming up this is the moment to um allow this to come in and allow it to come in in a different way and allow yourself to think completely differently not the same energy not the same person not the same maybe environment and allow yourself to see the other side of the mountain or to see further than w what is just in front of you and the opportunities you have in front of you or the or the energy that you've always been used to working with right with your family with your friends with your job and of course if everything's fine everything's fine but you would probably not be coming to see these readings or listening to these readings if you weren't wanting to reflect or ask yourself a few questions right and so here it's about seeing further than that right understanding that there's so much more than what you have on a day-to-day -day basis and i think it's open to it's important to allow the time and space for all this to come in and to invite other energies to come in and even if the the situation is different than what you expected or that you or then what you wanted um take time out of your routine to sort of connect with new ways new people new ideas new perspectives don't resist and i think that is opening up your energies the joy of uh that breath of fresh air that's the way it feels the breath of fresh air to be able to do you to be you and ace of wands to build you um either a new job or uh, or even wanting to move it's the new beginning it's a new beginning and moving to a different city or a different neighborhood or just having a completely different approach to your mindset it's almost like you know spring cleaning changing your clothes changing your habits getting out you know outside and and seeing the world in a different way with this ace of wands very refreshing but you you have learned to um wait to wait and understand four of swords take a moment take a moment to reflect take a uh, a breather in between whatever it means for you uh, meditating or taking a weekend off if you can or just you know running or walking in nature listening to music singing dancing writing right whatever it means whatever makes you um channel your energies to calm and balance your energies because the four of cups is about uh i i don't want to discuss that anymore or i don't want to work in that place anymore or i don't want to talk to those people anymore or I'm just not interested the it's almost like the boredom of these people or the boredom of this situation and that's why you want to shift into new 
that new idea, that new career, those new friends, that new right, new new place to live, or or just you know that new dynamic, King of Wands, building new, right? Um, understanding that it's time to make things happen. The King of Wands is assertive. He doesn't back down. He knows, right? He has that energy and that experience and very optimistic. And I really think you are optimistic. It's sort of that back and forth, that tug of war, back and forth, back and forth. Like you're, you're immensely optimistic in that moment where everything's going okay. You have that energy, you're motivated, sort of action oriented and fearless, fearless, that free thinking and fearless to be you, to be yourself and to just do whatever you want or dare, dare to be yourself and dare to do what you want. Taking control of your life. That's what the King of Wands is all about. You dare to be different. And I don't think you care what people think. I don't think you care what people say. You want to be you. And if that is not always conforming, maybe that's the tug of war, right? But it's, it's all about... It's all about um, your personality and building upon that and building upon your powers, not, a, not on what other people expect from you or what other people's opinions are. No, you are anchored in your own energy and personality. Push, push through. There seems like there's an offer here, Page of Pentacles, financial offer or job offer or just a situation, an opportunity that's changing, that's allowing you to change, allowing you to um, let go now, let go of what you don't want, because it's not even about what is not serving you, right? It's about what you don't want anymore with the four of cups, enough, bored, done, Take it as it, as, as it is in your circumstance, but you don't want to be in that place anymore. It feels very animate. It feels very, um, you're very, at least very sure of yourself on that. That's why you have the death card. The death card is that reinvention of yourself and understanding that it's time to move on, to move forward, right? That change, that transformation, that, that transition. But it's also um, feeling, right? Feeling instead of thinking, feeling the energies, feeling the emotions. I'm surprised we don't have the high priestess. It's, it's understanding where you stand emotionally and how you got here and how you don't want to be here anymore pushing forward right it's that death of a phase where you realize you know what's no longer for you opening up to something far more interesting far more valuable and um letting go of that past or letting go of this um it's, it's almost like it feels like nonsense, but I'm sure it's not nonsense. And But you, you want to embrace this new opportunity and embrace the, the success and optimism. The sun is all about optimism. And so um, once you see the importance and the promise of a renewal, of a transformation, of seeing life differently, right, and, and the necessary... Um, the, the necessity, sorry, of not resisting, right? I think if, it, if you hang on to the daily uh, routine, hang on to what you have done for the last few years maybe or, or what your perception was of your job, your, your, your life, your energies, or just your mindset, I think that now you're learning to sort of let go of whatever seems unhealthy or whatever seems not connected to you, right? That uncomfortable feeling that we're not in the right place or not connecting to the right people or it doesn't really make sense, 
that uncomfort. And now you are pushing forward and transforming into something completely, completely new with the death card. Moving into the sun. And I like the way um, you have the hangman and the sun, which is taking your time. Taking your time, not bulldozing your way through. Uh, taking your time to receive success, to receive abundance, you know, to receive that strength. And, and the sun gives you that strength, you know, that no matter what, your positive energy will follow you through. Your positive mindset will push you in the right direction. The warmth of people, right? The, the, the beautiful connections will help you succeed, radiating who you are and what you stand for. It's also sharing your love with those you care about, right? Discovering through challenges along your path who you really are and what your purpose is in life. And then that is giving you that energy to conquer, to persevere into success. Confidence, 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 because everything is going to work out. Um, I, it's almost like, it's also like you're not fear driven, right? You're not driven by ego. It's just you pushing naturally into what makes sense to you and aligning with your higher purpose with is what is most important for you. And that that is how the cycles go, right? Whether it be job, whether it be family, whether it be situations, energies, emotions, when we feel a little discomfort, when we start feeling, mm, okay, things are not as fluid as before, um, uh, the conversations, the dialogue, the energies between people at a job and family and with friends, what, however it resonates, right? Um, and we start feeling uncomfortable. It's not bad, but it just feels different, right? It just feels different. Different in a friendship, different in a job dynamic, different in a career, different in a family dynamic, right? And that means that one cycle is over and we're moving, transitioning into the next cycle. And again, I always say in all these readings, doesn't mean that anybody did anything wrong. It doesn't mean that you positioned yourself in the wrong way or you, your choices were wrong or your decisions were wrong or bad, bad timing, you know, or not with the right people. No, these are energy cycles that no matter what, if you fight them, you know, it gets more difficult and more difficult. And if you accept the changes and accept to receive differently and sort of navigate a, and make decisions with these as you navigate, then it's, I'm not saying it's easy, but you're aware, you're aware, highly aware of the choices you make and how it keeps changing. And now you're sort of uh, navigating in the right direction and realigning yourself in the next cycle and starting the next cycle. And then you all of a sudden you'll feel free and you'll feel light and, and that it all makes sense. And that, you know, that fluidity again, where your connections with people are, are, are seem simple and lovely and coherent and natural and make sense, right? And, and in a job, same thing. And, and that's where you feel um, you're at the right place. Now, it's not always linear. It's not always simple. And it's not always simple to feel. But at one point, we do feel. We do feel. All right, let's see what other cards we have. Knight of Swords, assertive, action forward. You're taking action. There's something a a happening rapidly. You want this to happen rapidly. So either you're making a decision or you're moving or, or you're imposing an idea or imposing, yeah, uh, five of pentacles. That's the disconnect. And imposing an idea uh, or uh, a decision or an opinion, right? 
this is what you want. This is how you want this. This is how it's going to happen. You want you want to make this decision to make things go faster or or to shift into a different direction. Knight of Swords, right? Assertive, but also very um very imposing in your in your objectives. Very imposing in your way of talking, you know, the, you're not mincing words wherever you are, right? Whether you're um, with friends, with family, a job situation, um, the Knight of Swords is very direct, almost like a little impatient, focused, daring, right? Ambitious, but almost a little obsessive in certain ideas, strongly wishes to manifest, strongly wishes for things to happen, right? Powerful, full of energy, but it sort of needs to be balanced, you know, with um, proper and actual realization and responsibility. But the, the night doesn't see or care about any challenges. It's almost like sheer ambitions, you know, determination to succeed no matter what. Um, so be careful not to move too quickly. Take a moment, right? Because I feel like at one point here, there's the, the disconnect with the five of pentacles, not enough money in a job or feeling the disconnect with, you know, with a situation. And then you're like, okay, that's it, done, out moving, gone, going, doing something else. But there's, um, there's an offer here. There's something new. There's something new budding, you know, blooming. And so, um, take a moment, take a moment to, um, accept and, and make this happen because you have three pages here. I'm looking to see if there are any more, no, three pages. So double the page of pentacles and and the page of cups emotional financial emotional maybe um a financial opportunity in a creative job or or something something is brewing around you and it doesn't have to be a job it can be also you navigating your life changing and going into a different perspective you know and going somewhere else to or on your in your mindset or physically you're in a different space and your decisions are a little impulsive here in the beginning let's see where this goes but you have the higher fit i like that i like that the you have the higher fit so the higher fit is either you going back or trusting reliable sources to make your decision or or, or structuring something, signing contracts, making something official, or uh, a mentor, someone guiding you, helping you, you know, to remain balanced as you make your decisions. Yes, because it's a new dis it's a new direction. Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords, um, new direction, but also f you're really finding clarity in this whole situation whatever it is apologies for the noise it seems like you're working hard and again this is not a money and career reading for anybody that usually comes to watch these readings on my channel apologies again for the sirens um the the i usually read money and career readings uh but this is an energy reading um and so but yes it seems to actually orient itself towards job, career, or at least that type of energy. It doesn't have to be, but that's the way it feels. Um, with the, with the eight of, eight of pentacles, it feels like you're either working on a project, deciding to work on a project or deciding to work on a new career. And, um, you can be going to school, taking classes, having a mentorship going on, or you're mentoring others, you're working hard on something diligently, very, you know, repetitively, getting better and better at what you do, getting better and better at a skill. And um, this is something um, 
very I want to say positive but it's very um emotional emotional in the sense where it's caring sharing being there for others helping others so maybe you are helping others or others are helping you make this happen maybe others are helping you uh, move or helping you start your business or helping you, uh, you know, um, shift your career or move cities, move countries. Uh, it is a new direction and you're finding clarity. You're finding clarity in your mindset, in your desires, in what you want. And what you want is being you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> what you want is to be you. Um, and I think that it's all about accepting the help of others, accepting um, that this transition and this um, situation is going to feel different and um, you're okay with it. You're okay with it. And you're, you're accepting the help of others. Queen of swords. Sorry, the, the, uh, phone just threw me off a little bit, but this queen of swords here is also assertive, clear. <coughs> she, you know, she does so you have the knight of swords the queen of swords the uh <coughs> sorry about that oh well now everything threw me off <laughs> sorry i apologize i'm not going to edit i'm just going to leave it as is this is natural this is me um so it's 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 you finding really uh, clarity and a thorough understanding of what's going on, whatever it is. I think that you also have are, are starting to understand what is most important for you. And that's when we make our decisions, right? That's when we understand and become sort of honest with ourselves and honest with, you know, our objectives and, and, and we are constructing a new a new future right your perception is different and i think you're becoming wiser um and um i think that you most importantly you're making decisions without relying on your emotions alone right seeing and understanding and making at all making looking at all facts before making a decision and connecting with people utilizing intellectual understanding if that makes sense and you you know that that's how you can push forward pushing But pushing in the right way because um, you know um, it's the right thing to do. You know um, it's honest and you're in your truth and you're pragmatic in your decision and it's the right thing to do. Wow. And so I think that, it, so, okay, I understand. It's, it's like, um, for example, you're in a job and it's not going that well, or it's not going the way you want it to go, or you have a sort of disconnect with the managers or disconnect with the philosophy of the company or disconnect with uh, friends or family, whatever it is, right? And you're realizing that this decision uh, to shift, to go somewhere else, to move, to change careers, to change jobs, or just that different mindset that you have is... Um, is because that's, you know, what is the honest thing to do. So even if it's not exactly what you want, or even if you're not exactly on that right trajectory yet, 
you're in the right direction because it's the right thing to do. It's the honest thing to do and the best thing to do for you at that moment. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have the nine of pentacles. Nice. Again, feeling comfortable. We have the nine of pentacles. This is a repeat. Feeling comfortable doing this. Feeling comfortable making this choice. Whatever it is for you, it will be different for each and every one, whether it's a family situation, a job situation, or just your emotional state of mind right now or intellectual state of mind. You're comfortable with your choice. And this choice is going to give you some freedom, independence, financial independence, right? Um, and just um, enjoying who you are and not running on, you know, someone else's energies or sacrificing you for something, sacrificing yourself for someone else's energies or someone else's cause or someone else's business or job. The Hermit, yes, uh, really, and the Ten of Pentacles, oh, nice. So you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, so your choice, and comfortable with your choice, and this is bringing back harmony and financial ba balance in your home. So these are beautiful, beautiful cards. With the Hermit in between, so Pentacles, Pentacles, it seems like money is extremely important in this choice. It is a factor in this choice. It is the number one factor in this choice, obviously. So yeah, so maybe you're taking on a job with more money and maybe it's not exactly the job that you wanted, but it's, you know, it's more responsibility with more money and maybe you want a change of career or maybe you wanted to move or maybe you want to move country cities or whatever, something bigger. But for now, this is what you're going to do. That's the way it feels like. It doesn't have to be that at all. It is just the energy that I'm feeling. And and the hermit is just there to say that, yes, this decision, no matter what, is all about you. You're the only one that can dig deep inside and figure things out, right? You're The, the answer comes within, and once you navigate your emotions and navigate what is most important for you, then you can let go, uh, you know, what you understand is holding you back, right? Those, um, those blockages, whatever it is that, you know, that has maybe blocked you along the way to not make that choice or to not make changes or to not be ready or it's not time or we don't have enough money or it's not the moment or yada 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 all those all those blockages that we might have but sometimes the universe just you know throws you into the next cycle and you have to draw your energies inward right to find those answers to answer those questions to um, make those choices and sometimes it's important to take a break from everyday life and sort of dig deep to figure out what the next move is in your soul right deep down you realize your knowledge and your sense of truth is within right within yourself and and not within others and not within the distractions of the outside world and not within anybody else's opinion Again, not, not, not to sacrifice yourself for other people's choices. And I think that this is that pivotal choice in your life or a pivotal decision in your life. And it's a new direction. And if it's not a new direction yet, you're definitely considering that new direction. And that is why you're digging deep to make the right choice. So I think that you're, li you're looking at your life with a deeper perspective you're looking at your, this choice, your path, with um, um, a, a deeper perception, right? And you, it's your way to reevaluate your personal goals and, and change this overall path with a look at life with a deeper and more spiritual understanding. Priorities are changing. This path is changing. Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, thank you to each and every one for your support, your energies. Uh, that is how I push forward in my readings. So Capricorn, thank you. Uh, you have been amazing uh, from day one. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, energy seekers and energy givers. So thank you to all for your support. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you did, if you do enjoy this type of reading, um, please comment down below. And just know if you're still watching at this point, thank you first. Uh, uh, just remember there are two, still two free readings up for grabs. If you're interested, just comment down below and make sure you are um, subscribed. Again, thank you all. Bye-bye, Capricorn.